Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at what I consider the best robot for your gold currency. Um, I actually did two other videos as well. Um, the best robot one can get for your silver currency as well as workshop points. Uh, if you haven't yet checked out those videos, I will have a link in the description. Uh, but for this video, we're going to be focused on gold currency. So in terms of, you know, overall performance on the battlefield and, uh, you know, just an all-round performer in my opinion. I think the Galahad is the best robot you can get currently for your gold currency and uh, here are the reasons why. So you know I've actually thought about this um, you know I was thinking maybe Fiori, maybe Lancelot um, you know those are <laughs> quite a bit of gold 5,000 apiece um, but the thing is with the Fiori is it's very map dependent um, you know some maps it performs well um, some maps it doesn't so you know generally if it's an open map then the Fiori tends to perform well if it's a covered or um, you know a map that's very small such as like Dead City or Power Plant um, it doesn't perform as well so to me it's not an all-round performer because it's very map dependent um, you know the same token kind of goes with um, the Lancelot the Lancelot's a great brawler but when the time comes to actually getting beacons, the Lancelot's very, very slow. Um, you do have Rush, but overall the bot is very slow. Um, it has a lot of punch to it, but is it the best um, in terms of value? And I still don't think that the Lancelot falls in that category. Uh, the Galahad, on the other hand, can uh, take quite a bit of punishment. The shield can uh, withstand 200,000 uh, worth of damage. Um, on top of that, it has a uh, great speed. Um, you know, the max speed for the Galahad being 50 kilometers an hour. Um, it doesn't have much health, so you do have to watch out for pins and tridents. Um, but in terms of, you know, overall performer, um, you know, having that speed allows you to get around uh, on the battlefield very quickly. Uh, you can get into position quickly, and what makes it great is actually the weapon placements. Um, all the weapons are on the side, making it an excellent corner shooter. Um, just, I think if you're going up against something like a Plasma Griffin, more often than not, you're going to win. Um, it's almost the same uh, with a Plasma Rhino, um, depending on the uh, situation, of course. But, um, you know, what, what also makes it so deadly is the fact that you can actually outrun Orkins. So if... Um, for example, a death button rhino or a griffin would have fired the orcans at you, um, provided you're about 250, 300 meters um, in terms of range, you can actually backtrack and, you know, move in the opposite direction uh, with your shield down, of course, uh, or to the side, you can actually outrun orcans as well. So, um, you know, that just makes it a bigger threat on the uh, battlefield. But otherwise, um, you know, in terms of performer, I, I definitely think that the Galahad is the best uh, in terms of uh, gold value. In terms of the strongest build for the Galahad, um, I've run different combos on this uh, bot. I've run Orkins, I've run Aphids, uh, Panadas, you know, pretty much everything under the sun. And uh, I always end up coming back to the Tehran Magnum build. And uh, if I'm always doing that, then it probably means that it's the strongest build for the uh, robot currently. So in terms of, uh, you know, the strongest build for the Galahad, I would stick to the Tehran Magnum build. In the next couple of clips, you're going to see some highlights of my gameplay using the Galahad Tehran Magnum build or Plasma Galahad. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Twitch. Until the next video, I will catch you guys later.